First of all, a huge day today, especially for the city of New Orleans, seeing something like this. Walk us through the beginning of this, this presentation uh, because there's so much excitement behind what happened. You know, we've had so many people working on this. And it's just, it turned out to be so beautifully done. And it was just a perfect experience. And I'm so glad we got it and we're in. And now all we need to do is win some games. That's really all we do. <laughs> so there was a presentation involved, me being living in New Orleans with you. I, I have to ask you, what did you present? How did you make New Orleans stand out in this presentation? Well, New Orleans is a very special city. It's unique. It's different than any other city that we have around. And uh, we just have so many things to offer, the food, the music, the culture, we, the hotels, we got it all. <laughs> it should be here every year. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And we're talking about um, 2024, uh, a few years out, or should we expect any renovations to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome? Any kind of changes to, to, to our, our structure there? Yes, we're working, we're getting ready to start work on the Superdome. We're gonna be making many changes, so it will be good. I know you guys wanted to not consider yourselves a shoe in and you know wait until it was an in ink that you guys were going to have this um but they said it, it was a very quick vote maybe 60 seconds i mean what was it like in there after you gave the presentation was it pretty quick it was pretty quick but you know you never should take things for granted so we we never take anything for granted we want to make sure that everybody agreed and they did and so that was very nice and Ms. Benz, your intimacy with the process a little different this time but what was the experience like for you well, this time it was a little different because my husband was in here, but um, it was good. I was um, a little um, upset when I saw his picture because it's so real and it feels like he's here. I know he's here anyway, and um, it's just a little sad that he's not with us. A man that loves this, his city, what would he have said today? What, he, he'd have been <laughs> a proud man. He'd have been jumping up and down. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw the video, but it was great. His suspenders was coming off. He was so excited. <laughs> so it was nice. What do you remember from the last Super Bowl that you had in New Orleans? And what, what I know even though the Saints weren't involved in it, what did that mean to the city, the environment, the, the vibe that was there? You know, the city and the state and the fans and everyone is so excited. The businesses, everyone profits from the Super Bowl. So it's really nice when we can have a Super Bowl in the city. And our city is the best place to have one. <laughs> I know it's just your first go around with this new bidding process. From all the owners across the board, is that something that